So if you love your Darwiner Schnitzel chili dogs as much as my brother does, then you've come to the right place today. I went to the work and the effort to try to figure out the best Darwiner Schnitzel copycat hot dog that I can find. So today I'm gonna to be making the Darwiner Schnitzel copycat chili dog. It's loved by millions and millions of people and I think you'll really enjoy this. So we're gonna start off today by grounding a quarter of a pound of ground pork and three quarters of a pound of ground beef. So one of the secrets to a really good Darwiner Schnitzel chili sauce is that it's very, very, very flavorful, but also that it runs all over your hot dog bun and your hot dog. So the most important thing when you're getting your hot dog and chili mix set up, you want to make sure that you get your hamburger cooked down to just the smallest pieces that you can possibly do it. So I have this little, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a little, it squashes the meat down, like if you're making spaghetti or anything and you want that texture to be really, uh, you know, in little tiny microscopic pieces, this is the way to do it. So while our meat mixture is cooking down, we are going to take some water. Now I pre-measured the six cups of water that I'm going to need for this sauce. And I'm just taking about a fourth of a cup and I'm adding it to a bowl in which I've put um, a fourth of a cup of cornstarch and a half of a cup of Wandera flour. And all I'm gonna do is just mix this up with a whisk. As you can see below, it's gonna mix up really easily. And we just basically wanna make this a liquid mixture because we're gonna be adding this to our water mixture as soon as we put that in with the uh, with the meat. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more water. I just want to make sure that it's completely incorporated with the cornstarch and the flour. And see how nice that that stirs up. That's just perfect. So there's really no uh, grease to speak of. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my water to the pan. And I'm going to let that cook up a little bit. I'm going to continue to try to get it into the smallest pieces that I can, just like the chili that you eat when you're at your wiener schnitzel. You know, it's not always just about taste. Obviously, we want the closest taste that we can possibly get when we do a copycat recipe, but we also want it to look the same, have the same textures, and that's a really important thing. When you eat a, a chili dog hot dog, you notice that the pieces are really, really, really small. So I am just gonna let that come back up to a boil, and then I'm gonna be adding my, my uh, mixture of my flour and cornstarch and water. In the meantime, I'm going to add some seasonings. I've got a little bit of vinegar and ketchup. Now, I'm going to put these ingredients on the screen, but I'm also going to put them in the, uh, in the directions in the description below. So feel free to look at the recipe that way. And then I've got some various seasonings. I've got chili powder, cumin, pepper, uh, salt, garlic powder, a little sugar, and um, some onion flakes. And I'm gonna go ahead and add those seasonings to my mixture. Just like so. Oh, this is gonna be so good. There's nothing like a Darwiner Schnitzel hot dog. All right. So now what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna add my flour mixture, flour and cornstarch mixture, right to my pot, just like so. Now this mixture of the mead and the chili sauce is supposed to cook up for approximately one hour over the stove. So I'm gonna put it on here for 20 minutes and then 
I'm gonna go ahead and check it. And if it needs to cook a little bit longer, I can keep cooking it in here, or I can just cook it uh, over the stove. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. I started thinking after I put my chili sauce in the Instant Pot about adding the thickener to it. And I started thinking, you know what, what if it thickens up so much that it burns the chili sauce? So I waited till it turned off, I checked it, and it's already thickened up so much, I am gonna finish cooking the rest of it on the pan, in a pan over the stove. Because you can't really stir it once it's in the uh, Instant Pot. So this way I can see if it needs a little additional water or what have you. I'm just gonna simmer this over the stove and continue to stir it and make sure that it's just the perfect consistency and taste and everything. So if you would like to make this chili sauce in the Instant Pot, my suggestion would be put all the ingredients in except for the flour and cornstarch mixture. Wait and do that after the the food is done cooking. So I've got my copycat Doriner Schnitzel hot dog and I'm gonna go ahead and put some chili on this. Look at that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, minced onion on top of it. I'm also gonna put a little bit of cheese. And there you go. There's the Darwiner Schnitzel Copycat Chili Dog. All right, let's give this hot dog a little a little taste. It's messy, just like the Darwiner Schnitzel hot dog. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Now I've made the Copycat uh, Coney Island hot dog. And honest to goodness, this is like 50 times better. It is so, so, so good. So I hope that you will give this delicious hot dog a try. The chili sauce is very easy to make. It's very delicious. Thank you again for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.